Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models. My name is Bobby Waldron, and with this video, we're going to be doing an inbox review of Eddard's Spitfire Mark 16 Bubble Top, um, and that's the Provi Park Edition. This is 140 ape scale, um, which is a really nice scale for this. Um, now, Eddard, as we know, their Mark 9 Spitfire is absolutely sublime, um, and it is very much based, uh, this kit is very much based off it. So. We know this is going to be, it's going to fit absolutely beautifully. Um, the, the surface detail is going to be stunning, but you know, it is the Mark 16, the bubble top. Um, so just some slight differences. Um, let's just move along with this. Well, first off, we've got our canopy. I know this is going to be good. I haven't actually looked inside this to be fair. Um, but yeah, we've got some lovely canopies on here. We've um, got the whole bubble top canopy. Um, and everything's looking quite nice a little bit scuffed maybe just on the top which is potentially some packaging but that can be easily buffed out you haven't got any nasty cobweb effects or any nasties like that uh, as always the packaging well apart from that canopy that we just saw but you know the packaging is nicely packaged in um, pretty much separately packaged bits here uh, we just open this out and we've got and this is what is so damn good about these kits is the surface detail is um, just second to none next generation stuff going on here recess panel lines um, really sort of nice crisp very sharp with absolutely tons and tons of these rivets as you can just see there and they're very sort of faint um, so they're not like really deep that um, a wash is going to really bring them out but the wash is just going to sort of show them off a bit and just really sort of show off that detail there. We've also got um, the top parts of our wing section here. Again, that surface detail is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, we do have a second one in here, which is probably to do with some sort of a variant difference, uh, which you'll, we'll probably see in the actual... Um, instructions I can already see we've got a bit of a difference on this top wing compared to that um, there is as I say there's probably some sort of differences in there um, then we have the actual um, our fuselage section which again that surface detail is absolutely stunning even um, where the detail wraps around I mean sometimes you know in older kits especially you kind of get this sort of fading as it wraps around but that is just staying consistent through out then we've got like some really nice big bolt details along here as well again gorgeous um, inside we have uh, it's very sort of smooth very crisp not much detail inside here but there is a nice amount that does go inside here eject pin marks but they're not in any nasty places <sighs> A um, little bit of detail on the inside of this part of the fuselage section. Then we do have um, some actual internal detail, which hopefully you can see. We do have nice bits of detail going on on here. I'm seeing some very faint sort of raised rivets as well. Um, moving along, we have wheels and stuff, which they are in different halves. And then you've got the hubcaps. Um, so they're going to look pretty good we got our last little bag just here right. nicely open this up nice and easy make sure we haven't got any pieces that have come off the sprue which there hasn't right first sprue we have is um what we got we've got all sorts of like lovely landing gear let's just move this one out the way actually for the camera um, we've got wheel well doors again that lovely surface detail on even all these little bits also uh, we've got our um, 
exhaust here for our engine, which we've got two types for that. And then we've got all our little bits, little panels. Again, very, very, very nice. Landing gear just here. We've got some air intake bits here, lovely detail. Let's bring you in a bit closer. Lovely detail, as you can see there. We've got our propeller, which is also, again, just absolutely gorgeous. Everything about this kit. Different sort of MGs to go on the wings. All right, absolute stunner. Um, last sprue we have here again, loads of little bits. We have uh, sort of like more cockpit detail. We've got a lovely CT with a nice bit of detail on there. Um, uh, let's just flip this around because we do have some instrument display panel, which we do have really cool actual raised detail with the dials for here. Um, I do believe they do do a blank one as well. So when you put like stuff like photo etched down and you have to sort of sand off the detail and then you put the photo etch on top, it just saves you that sanding it down. You just get this piece off. If you're gonna go the photo etch route, some bombs here also, um, and then it's um, all sorts of stuff like tails, flaps, ailerons, that kind of stuff. Again, the surface detail on all those is just the same as the rest of the kit. Um, and then finally, in the box, We've got our instructions, but then we have um, the Provi Pack Edition, right? The Provi Pack Edition is all about you get um, a few little um, aftermarket extras, which is rather cool. Um, this here is canopy masks. Really hard to see on camera, so I'm not going to show you, but you get canopy masks. Um, then we have a nice bit of photo etch just here. So let's just get this out for you for the camera. Right, bring you right in, and as you can see, we've got all this lovely um, um, pre printed photo etch detail that's on here with instrument display panels. We've got um, bits of cockpit detail, we've got our um, um, seat belts, and all that stuff. That is going to look absolutely lovely inside what is already a pretty damn good cockpit to be fair we have our decals which there is two types of decals in here we've got stencils and then we've got the actual markings um, here are the stencil parts which is nicely protected uh, let's turn it the right way around um, and on here i mean you know you do have very small writing which you can make out um, these ones are made by um, Eddard themselves in the Czech Republic. They do go down very well, Microsoft and Set. Um, they are very nice decals. Um, but strangely, their stencils are made by Eddard, but I do believe, no, actually, it used to be. They used to be using, um, um, for their, uh, their actual um, markings, they used to use cartographer decals, which are, you know, some of the best decals you can get in the world. But it looks like with this kit, They've actually gone and it's uh, made in the Czech Republic by Eddard. So that's quite interesting. So these will probably be the same. They do have this sort of glossy finish to them. Um, you know, all the colors do look in registry. We do have the option of putting decals down for um, our instrument display panel. So we've got three options going on there. We've got photo etch, we've got the actual, um, the kit itself with its raised, um, dials and we can also whack down decals if we really want to have an easy life so it is nice little touch that they give you those options for potentially you know different skill levels and um, preferences um, but apart from that that is all looking good also then we have the instructions which with Eddard they do give us these really cool nice satin very good um, high quality sort of paper nice big intro about the spitfire itself and the bubble top um gives you sort of like a nice sort of call out of all the different sprue all the pieces that come with this and what needs to be needed um we've got some color call outs for the guns range mr color uh, mr metal um those kind but i'd go on the internet and sort of search what colors are good i know tamia does some really nice um, um, Spitfire colours to be fair. Um, you start off, we've got this whole sort of really cool cockpit section here. It's all kind of comes together. Absolutely love it. The, the detail is absolutely lovely. I've built this a few times myself. You cannot grumble with this cockpit. Um, then we have, um, this might seem a bit strange how 
the engine section is um, kind of blank and we've got this sort of blank bit here and um, that is because you can go off and get this sort of Eddard did a absolutely gorgeous resin engine which you can sort of put in that place and open up your engine which is a really really nice option if you want to um, really sort of splash out on some some resin um, and then it does fit really really well when you bring it all together um, and the rest is pretty typical with the whole you know two wing sections come together the wing and the fuselage comes together pretty sort of um, easy indeed and as I say I mean you've got different markings here because you know we've got the two different types of wings um, different ones is like markings AD and AD only and that kind of stuff so really sort of pick your what markings you want to do and then make sure you kind of follow that in the instructions um, then we've got all sort of little bits on here we can have all kind of cool like um, stabilizers and ailerons and all your flaps and slats and all those cool things can be sort of moving you can buy aftermarket parts as well for the flaps which is kind of cool also i think I do believe it's like a, um, a a photo etch set you can get for that um, and then moving along i mean obviously you can have um, your good old um, landing gear up or down right and then it does show you how to do the canopy masks if you want to have bombs or not then we have all the markings which is really cool because Eddard normally give you quite a few markings to choose from um, I do believe this one is just look like it's an all natural metal finish then we have a two um, two stage camo pattern um, with this one here moving along um, another two stage camo pattern another natural metal finish which is rather cool and then on the back we've got all our stencils um, <clears throat> so all in all I mean this is definitely a big thumbs up I mean we love the the mark 9 that's a big thumbs up it's very much based on the mark 9 it's basically the same sort of tool we've added bits and changed of pieces and stuff um, it is just absolutely fantastic I mean you cannot grumble decals instructions you know adding in a bit of photo etch canopy masks and um, the whole nine yards and if you really want to go to town there is so much um, um, resin that's been released for this this kit wheel wells I do believe you can get a resin cop here you can get the as I've already mentioned the engine um, photo etch this this and that I mean you can really sort of go nuts um, with it it is very much a cool model um, and I've enjoyed building it you will have no problems building it um, and you ask anyone out there who's built this it is the best Spitfire you can go out there and get in 140 ape scales so hopefully you have enjoyed this as much as I've enjoyed um, showing you it so until next time my name is Bob Waldron this is Genesis Models and I hope you've enjoyed